Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Bank account That's what they're trying to do, folks Understand that Live the right way We all live in the wrong way So when times get rough, right? You'd be able to afford it You'd be able to not be in my situation because you did it the right way. I didn't do it the right way. If I could do it over, I, I would have done it the right way. I would have concentrated on credit, live within my means, where I can focus and do things and be able to buy something. I'm trying to gain this knowledge to my beautiful people out there. Life could be easy if you stop running away from your responsibility. Life could be much easier. We can do this, folks. I'm trying to do it, but you got a better start than me. I'm trying to stop you from getting in this situation. Well, if you want to get out your toxic situation, right? You got good credit. You got money in the bank. And you've been paying on time. You know how easy? You can get out in one day. You can go right now and say, hey, I need to stay here. And you can get out of that situation. Go get you a nice loan where you can get yourself back together. See, you can do that and get a good interest rate on it. See, you can do that. Then you can get out your toxic situation quickly. And for you folks that's homeless out there, we're starting over. But we understand how it works. And we're going to try to achieve it. Ain't how, ain't how much money in your pocket? Credit? What you got in the bank? And how you paying your rent? And if you're homeless out there, folks, focus on your credit. Focus on your credit. Whatever money donations you get. I don't care if you're out there holding a sign. You take that money, you focus on your credit. You get that credit right, you can you can bounce back quick. You can bounce back, folks. That credit score will get you off these streets pretty fast. Don't let nobody tell you different. Me being out here all this time, I'm starting to understand how this game works. Everybody I talk to, credit, credit, credit. Credit, credit, credit. Credit, credit, credit. That's what I'm hearing. I could have got out this car quickly if I had credit. High credit score? I, I, could, I could refinance this car to $50 a month probably. Credit, folks. That's what the people understand. But that's what we don't understand. Stop running away. Right now, if you started, you behind your credit, your credit cards kind of get them under 30%. 30% and under. Look at your credit cards right now. Pull out your credit. All three barrels. Equifax, Experian, or whatever the heck that other one called. <laughs> Equifax, Equifax, Experian. What's the other one? I don't even know my credit board. There's one more out there. Equifax, Experian, and I know it's one more. I know you got Carl. You don't know that. I know what it is. I'm just I'm I'm I'm, I'm brain dead right now. Look at those three credit bureaus. Look at your credit cards. See the limits or even call them, whatever you got. Make sure you got all your credit cards together. Start paying those. Make sure you get them under 30% and at 30%. And once you get them at 30%, right, then start working and getting them down lower and only have a few cards at 30%. Pay the rest of them down. Get them down low as you can. That's going to raise your score. Sometimes you can get 40 points in one month. They start seeing that your credit score is going to rise. You're going to feel better. You're going to be able to get things. I ain't talking about clothing. I'm talking about things you can buy. You be able to get a lower interest rate on your car and you be able to get, buy things at a lower interest rate where your payments is cheaper. That's how you get your payments cheaper. You gotta have good credit. Go get your credit report. I know, 
You got money, you, you want to buy these new Jordans. Pay your credit cards down. And some of them that's been 60 days late or whatever it is, pay on them. Because on the next credit report, it's going to say current. That little late thing is going to go away. It's going to say current. That's what they want to see. They see you bounce back. You 90 days late, try to catch it. If it's a charge off, try to figure it out, folks. Those charge offs are hard to deal with. But try to figure it out. If you if you if you got ten credit cards and two of them bad and eight of them real good, we can work with that. Your credit card your credit still rise. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about the little charge offs. Don't worry about that. Work on the ones you can catch. The charge offs you'll figure that out. Sometimes you can get your way out of that. But you got to get the ones you can catch. Those charge offs won't look bad when you got a lot of good. Those charge offs start to fall off. Or you can figure a way to get it off. When you start to work on your credit, your credit becomes good. It, it, it's a miracle how those charge-offs start to, you start to figure a way to get those charge-offs away from there. Sometimes you can call the company and work out something with them. They'll remove that if you're ready to pay something. So you can figure out a plan. That's all a debt consolidation company do. They call and work out a plan. If you had a plan where if you owe $500 and you go, I pay you $300 today, they'll probably remove that charge-off. So it's a way to get charge-offs removed. But you got to work on the ones you can handle first. Get those, get those down, and then work on those charge-offs. But we got to the little money we got, we got to throw it towards our credit. Got to get our credit better. People out there, especially my beautiful people, get your credit together, okay? Work on yourself. Work on your eternal self. You got to live within a thirty percent range. You got to live within your means. Can't be trying to live outside your means. If you're barely making payments, credit cards, you, you're living outside your means. Move somebody in. If you already got an apartment, go down and say, do three times the rent. Wherever you're living. If you're living in a house you're renting or you live in an apartment renting, do the 3% rule. Or not 3%, three times the rent. And put that on paper. And then what your rent is, divide. Whatever you make it, then you'll see where you need to be at. You making twenty thousand a year? <laughs> Whatever your rent, if your rents, if your rents a thousand dollars, you should be making three thousand a month. If you're not making, okay, let me break it down for you. If your rent is three thousand a month, that's times three. That means you should be making nine thousand. Okay, <laughs> nine thousand a month. You figure out what you make in a month. That's when you subtract and, figure, and realize what you can pay. And you need somebody else to pay the rest of it. So you might have to divide in two or you can bring somebody in who can pay the other, that other that you can't pay. If you're making a thousand dollars a month and you need 3,000, you need to find somebody who can make that 2,000. That way you can live within your means. That's how the game works. That's why they say three times a week. So basically, you can only afford a place that's a thousand dollars. You can't afford a place that's three thousand dollars because you're only making a thousand. Three times three times a thousand is three thousand dollars. So you can't you can't afford that a place that's three thousand. You need to bring in help. That's why you're struggling every month. You need to bring in help, folks. And if you're making two thousand a month, you still need to bring in help. You need to you need to find somebody who will cover that thousand. You making two thousand a month? Your rent is three thousand, <laughs> folks. It's just a no-brainer. Bring in somebody. They can help. got to understand how the games worked out here. That's why they put that, that stuff out there to help people. So you have a better understanding and you can figure out how this game has worked. So again, when they do three times your rent, and if your rent is 3000 that's 9000 you need. And if you only bring it home 3000 a month, that ain't nowhere near 9000 You need to find somebody else out there that's making 6000 
And if you don't, you need three. You're just making three thousand. Can you imagine that? You making three thousand a month, and all you gotta pay is a thousand. You got two thousand extra in your pocket, and a nice place that's three thousand a month. You got two thousand extra in your pocket where you can make your car payment. <laughs> Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down